Hello, my name is Peter Warren. I'm a bonsai professional and I studied in Japan. I travel all over the world teaching bonsai and I've used my experience and knowledge to bring you this new book, Bonsai by DK. We'll take you through the basics of caring for your first bonsai tree on a popular first tree, the Chinese elm. Starting on your first tree may be a daunting prospect, but the trick is to be clear about your aim. So first things first, assess your tree to get an idea of the direction you want to go in. Start by looking to see what the most interesting character features of your tree are and how you can accentuate them. One of the most important things to look at is the root system on the surface, as this is where the movement of the tree starts. Take away the top layer of soil and moss to get a better look. With this tree there's a very strong root on one side. So if we have an upright tree, this is going to create a sense of imbalance. So one way of utilising this very strong root to its maximum is to change the planting angle of the tree. Move on to look at the branches and figure out a possible styling. I do like the wildness within the branches as they have very natural movement. So we'll look to accentuate that, move some branches over to the right and go for a dramatic windswept look. It will be a classic Chinese abstract style tree. Work on creating a strong structure first before you tackle the straggly growth. In this area here, more than two branches emerge from the same junction or node, so we need to take some of these out so this area will not thicken in the future. Removing unsightly branches creates space inside the tree. So look for shoots that are growing back into the centre of the tree, shoots that grow directly upwards or downwards, shoots that are too straight. We'll also work on this branch here. There's one strong straight line starting at the base of the branch moving into this midsection here with two slightly thinner branches on either side. We'll remove the middle section, which will change the direction and create a bit of space, making it lighter and more elegant. Imagine an idealised branching structure and work towards achieving it. Don't worry if you accidentally take off the wrong branch, as young shoots may be repositioned with wire to fill any gaps in your design. It's very important to clean the wound and make sure it's nice and smooth. This will help it to heal over more quickly and more attractively. Treat all of the cut areas with wound sealant. For a more detailed look at how to make cuts and seal wounds, see our other bonsai videos in our playlist. Remove any dead branches to get a better idea of what you can use to create the tree. Use pruners to take out the larger dead shoots. Start to prune to shape. Reduce branches extending out of the silhouette, ensuring they have leaves or visible buds before you prune back. This will encourage new shoots to grow. Wiring the branches enables us to manipulate them and place them where we want. The main thing to remember is to ensure that the wire is on the outside of the bend that you are trying to make and to use two hands to support both sides of the bend. Always stand back every now and again to look at the overall structure. Proving the style and quality of the pot will give you a lot more enjoyment, so consider looking for a new pot to transplant your tree into. For a more detailed video on how to prepare a new pot and repot a bonsai tree, check out our other videos on the playlist. First, ensure any fixing wires on the underside of the pot have been cut and then use a root saw to cut through the soil in contact with the pot walls. Try not to cut through any large roots. Take the tree out of the pot, but don't use force. If the tree is stuck, cut around a little more. Gently rake out the soil and start to prune any strong roots back. Trim fibrous roots down to size with a sharp pair of root pruning scissors. Check the tree fits in the pot in your chosen position and then add some soil. Tie the tree in and use pliers to fasten the wires until they sit tightly at the root base.
Cover the roots with soil and work it in between the roots with a chopstick. Wash thoroughly to clean out any dust or debris and keep watering until the water runs off clear. The finished tree has an open, graceful structure on which new growth can be built.